it's the way this team is right now, you're going to beat a lot of people. And one of those players that's doing that is all right, all right. my buddy down in the post, Jade Geifen. Jade, obviously, you're down there, you're playing against a player like Heim. You're playing against Mobata. Tough all night as you guys really made it difficult defensively for Bucknell to get anything going offensively. Talk about the way this team has played defense so well here in this last stretch of five or six basketball games. Oh, man. Well, it starts off in practice. Our coaching staff gives us the game plan, and we really execute it. And we know what we need to do. Today we were really going out and trapping hard, and uh, we really communicated really well. Um, the post and I, whoever was in with me, you know, we'd be like, we'd switch in and we talk. So that was really huge, is communication on the court. You guys did a good job of keeping the ball not only out of Romine's hands in that first half, but in the first half she only had one shot. Uh, obviously, that was that a point of emphasis uh, from a defensive standpoint to try and limit her touches uh, in the half court game? Oh yeah, definitely. She's a very good player. Uh, we knew what we had to do, so that's why we jumped out on her really hard, and uh, our guards did a really good job against her. So yeah, that was definitely a point of emphasis. It, it appeared to be, correct me if I'm wrong, because you were in there, a very physical game in the post down there tonight. Uh, was that the case? Oh yeah, definitely. They're a really good posting team, so I knew uh, that they would be posting really hard, so we just had to get a hand up in there, and it was very physical. Talk about the way Cassie has played here of late. I mean, she has been dynamite, and you know, even after a couple of times, they tried to feature you down in the post, and then you guys changed it up a little bit, went down, because they were doubling every time you came down there. Then you guys kind of changed it up a little bit on them. Cassie gets single coverage, and she gets that deep in the post. She rarely misses, doesn't she? Oh, yeah, she's a great player. She has those awesome fakes and puts it in, and it's, it's a real good feeling to be on the other side knowing it's going to go in, that's for sure. How does it feel to be part of a Navy team that's going to the Patriot League Championship game for just the third time in school history? Oh, man, yeah, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Um, the girls and I, I mean, we all just really came together, and, I mean, it feels really good. I can't, I mean, I can't even describe it. What will the next two days be like? Will they be tough, or will it be easy knowing that now you guys are two days away from playing for a chance to go to the NCAA tournament and play on the big stage? Oh, yeah. Um, it's it's going to be tough. I'm not going to lie. Um, we're going to get out every day, both, or, well, both days, and really go hard um, in practice and execute our game plan and we know that it's one game at a time you know we can't look at the NCAA tournament yet we got to win this next game so all right congratulations on another great effort we'll see you on Saturday yes thank you. brought to you by the Showplace Arena your place for sports and entertainment joined now by the head coach of the victorious midshipmen Stephanie Pemper and you're taking your team to the Patriot League championship for just the third time in school history how does that sound for your program right now I know. Well, it sounds great. Yeah, it sounds great. And I'm really, really proud of our players. Um, you know, it wasn't totally a pretty game, but really proud of them for pulling it out, just grinding. It, it, are games rarely pretty, though, when you play as close as this league is? I mean, even from one down to eight, as it's proved out during the course of this year, you guys know each other so well. And the third time around, with the quality of the coaching and, and as close as some of these teams are, these games sometimes have to be won in this manner, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, we do know our personnel so well, and um, no question about it. Um, you know, it does come down to executing, but as you saw for number double zero tonight for them, you know, why we were able to defend so well was we were helping off that position, and so they countered by putting her there, and she had a great, great night. Um, so, no, I totally agree. You guys did such a good job on Romine in the first half. I know keeping the ball out of her hands was a point of emphasis, but to the point not only she got in foul trouble, but – the fact that she only took one shot in that first half, that allows you to, to build the lead. Obviously, I would imagine the kids executed defensively the way you and your staff were looking for in that first half. Yeah, totally. And Megan Matheny played really well tonight. She did. Just really good defense. And I thought it was interesting. We came out in the second half, and Angela told Megan to guard her, to guard Romine, which is interesting. I mean, shows a lot of confidence. You know, you can't keep it out of her hands. She's too good. But, you know, you just have to kind of have a plan for when she catches. And I did think that, that they executed it really well. You guys have played such good defense, especially in this stretch of the last five or six games. Uh, why, has, why has that been the case? Just great effort on the kids' part and, and doing a good job of, of buckling down in the man-to-man? In -man? Totally, totally. I mean, so many coaches will tell you they put together a decent game plan. You know, I mean, we watch so many, you know, films, and obviously our players don't. Um, and, you know, you put together a game plan, and sometimes players just don't, you know, buy into it at the same level. But our team really does buy into it. And 
I mean, Angela Myers deserves a lot of credit for that because she really values defense, and that trickles down, you know. So whether or not she's necessarily getting a lot of steals or just the fact that she values it, you know, and when a player doesn't do the right thing defensively, Angela knows, and she'll sometimes kind of give him a look or say something to him. Um, so, and then Alex, I think, really values defense. Cassie, I mean, Cassie loves to be a presence in there and to get a hand on some shots and to control the boards and – so it starts with, I think, you know, the seniors. I, I thought, and I think right now, when you watch Cassie Considine's play in, in the all-around facet of the game, I, I think maybe she's playing her best all-around basketball as a Navy basketball player right now. A couple times tonight, they go drive the ball. She's there with the help defense. Mm -hmm. You know, she's obviously was hitting from the three-point arc, but you guys changed it up a little bit after Jade maybe got a little frustrated a couple times in the post. You post Cassie up down there. Mm -hmm. She gets in there deep with that right-hand jump hook, mm -hmm. just showing you so many different facets of basketball and all of it right now quality from her yeah i agree i couldn't agree with you more <laughs> i mean i think she doesn't always have as much confidence as i'd like her to have but i agree with you i think that she can do a lot of things you know on, on both ends of the court and she sometimes gets inspired you know by one end you know she makes a good play on one end and inspires her on the other i mean i guess a lot of players are like that but for her, you know, it's just tonight it was moving her feet and containing, you know, Romine as best as she could. And I thought she did a pretty good job. Um, it was hitting threes. I mean, it was making a nice pass. So, yeah, no, I think she's a really talented player, and, and she's just she's showing some good mental toughness right now. Aaron, how tough will the next?